the eight on a hand fill-in exercise level one practice. In this video I'll show you how to play the exercise and I'll show you how to use it in a level one practice setting. That's the getting in shape practice setting. First of all, if you're right-handed I suggest you start by learning this exercise starting with the right hands. You're going to play eight rights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to play eight more rights, but with a left filling in between the rights, which is why we call it the fill-in exercise. So, starting with your right, So that's right, left, 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 right, left. Right, left, 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 right, left. The important thing to remember is when you finish the eight rights and start the fill-in, or the sixteenth notes, make sure you start the sixteenths with your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right. And stay with that right hand. Here's a trick you can use to make sure you're doing it correctly. Again, this is just a trick to make sure you're doing it correctly. Put your right stick on your drum pad, put your left stick on your thigh, and play it like that. Right stick on pad, left stick on thigh. And you'll see what happens with the right stick. Here it is. See that? The right hand never stops. It just keeps going. That's how you play the exercise with your right hand. If you're left-handed, start the exercise with your left hand and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left. Left. Or put your right stick on your thigh. And that's how you will know you're playing the exercise correctly. If you read music, it's a measure of eighth notes followed by a measure of sixteenth notes. You can follow the notes and follow the stickings. That's how you play the exercise. Practicing it in a level one setting. Remember, level one is getting into shape. What you want to do is play along with a metronome. I suggest uh, a marking of 90 to 120 as a, as a tempo, that's not too fast. I have my metronome set for 100 right now. And here's 100 with a quarter note. I'm going to add the eighth note to it. There it is. If you have a hard time with that, Try adding the 16th note on the metronome. That's going to sound like this. Hear that? When you're playing the eighths, you're going to be skipping the 16th notes, every other one on the metronome. Just listen, you'll see. Level 1, 90 to 120, start with your strong hand. I recommend five minutes straight with your strong hand at a set tempo. Now here's something you should know. If you're working on your weak hand, that means if you're a right-handed player, your weak hand is your left hand. If you're a left-handed player, your weak hand is your right hand. If you're working on your weak hand, I highly encourage you to practice this exercise with your weak hand. And if you really want to get the most out of it, Play it five minutes with your strong hand, and then play it ten minutes with your weak hand. 
that'll really help to strengthen up that weak hand. It's going to feel awkward at first. You're going to have a hard time with it. So start slow. But as you work at it every day, you're going to get better at that. You're going to have a stronger left hand, and your stronger left hand is going to go with your strong right hand, and you're going to be a stronger player. Good luck.